Hi, this is Eric Martin with Working Geek. I'm here with Duncan Malloy from Osprey Games, looking at an expansion for Pierre Sylvester's The Lost Expedition, Fountain of Youth and Other Adventures, coming from Osprey Games. Uh, we're adding some things to the game. We're adding, so The Fountain of Youth and Other Adventures is a series of four expansions for The Lost Expedition, each of which can be used either independently or in any combination. Okay. Uh, they're all adding either little twists to the, to the game as well as allowing you to adjust the difficulty setting a little bit for yourself. So if you're finding that you're kind of comfortably winning the game, you can tweak that up a little bit. If you're finding it a bit hard, you can bring it back down. Okay. But most of them just add a new interesting twist. To the yes. So uh, we open with the fountain, which is a set of uh, 12 new adventure cards that you just shuffle into your deck. Uh, the encounter follows uh, the conquistadors several centuries ago who went looking for the fountain of youth. Well, it turns out that youth was a mistranslation because it promises life, but it does not promise youth. Okay. So, uh, as a group of explorers searching for the lost city, you will also be trying to dodge these undying conquistadors who've gone mad over the centuries throughout the jungle. Okay. It's 12 new cards. Because that adds a little bit of difficulty to the game, we recommend you pair it with the Companions, okay. which is a series of three new characters which you add to your party. So you will have a team of four now instead of a team of three. Okay. And randomly at the start of the game, you'll be assigned one of these and they'll go on the team. Okay. Komatsi is a native guide. They have every expertise. Vulcana is a strong woman. She doesn't have any expertise, which is very, very tough. She starts with quite a lot of help. Okay. And Rinty is a friendly dog who will help you on your search. And his, he doesn't have an expertise, but at any point you can spend a help from Rinty to chase off the last card in the row. So okay. it's great to get your pinch. Okay. Um, we then have the mountain, which replaces the map cards in the game with a new series of obstacles as you progress on your way to the Lost City. So you don't always use all of them. You will always use the base camp. You will use the peak. And you do not have the original game here, but you use the last card from the original game. Right? And then these will all be face down. So you don't know what's coming. As you progress then through the jungle, each time you're gonna flip face up a new card. And not all, but most of these cards will have an ongoing effect for the duration of which you remain at that. So on this one, every time you start a hike here, you lose an additional food. We okay. take a step closer. We have a new activation, it's called Scout. And what that lets you do is it lets you take a look at the top couple of cards in the deck and slightly reorder them so you can plan ahead slightly more effectively. Okay. Then once you reach the peak, the rest of the remaining map cards are revealed and you have some sense of what's coming up as you make the final stretch towards the last thing. Alright. Okay. Isn't that So the, the last one then is the mark. And the mark adds a new icon, which is the mark. And uh, over the course of the game, if you activate a mark, you nominate one of your characters and that character becomes marked. Okay. If you activate a second mark over the course of the game, that character becomes transformed into a <laughs> werebeast. Okay. They lose their existing expertise, but they gain an expertise of bullets. Okay. Uh, so the, the tricky decision in the mark is that uh, having somebody who can just attack people willy nilly and spend a health instead of spending a bullet is hugely powerful. But losing that character's specialty if you need it can be crippling. Right. So it's about deciding at what point does it make sense to defend the other members of your group by giving into the curse, and for how long is your mind more useful than your body as you progress along. Okay. Um, so it's a, a series of new encounter cards, new adventure cards, and a new character card. So all of these can be used independently to spice up a game. Okay. You combine them. Again, we recommend you combine the, the new characters and the fountain of youth. Right. But I think playing with the mountain and the mark is also a really, really fun combination. And you can you can choose your flavor as you see fit. Alright. Thank you very much, Duncan. Thank you. A review of the Fountain of Youth. Coming for the Lost Expedition.